insightful podcasts by informative hosts. Insights into Things, a podcast network. Welcome to Insights into Teens, a podcast series exploring the issues and challenges of today's youth. Your hosts are Joseph and Madison Whalen, a father and daughter team making their way through the challenges of the teenage years. Welcome to Insights into Teens. This is episode 69. Uh, One of our Q&A series, we'll be talking about school interests and activities. I'm your host, Joseph Whalen, and my caring and cheerful co-host, Madison Whalen. Hi, everyone. How you doing today, Maddie? Pretty good. How was your week this week? Kind of normal, slowing down now since school's almost over. That's good. A little boring, was it? Uh, I mean, especially... I remember Tuesday was one of the most boring ones, and the point that I decided, you know what, not getting up early, I'm just going to sleep through the day. Okay. Well, I know, because you didn't say goodbye to me in the morning when I went to work. No. That's okay. You're coming up fast on the lazy, hazy days of summer. So, we'll, uh, I'm sure, have some podcasts on how to keep busy this summer. Awesome. So, this week is another Q&A. We will be talking about uh, school since this was actually scheduled for a few weeks out, but in a few weeks you won't be in school. Well, you're not in school now, right? So you're, you're still schooling from home. But I figure we better get this in before the end of school, otherwise we wouldn't have all that much to talk about. Yeah. So we'll be talking about, or we'll be asking you questions on school, uh, some of your interests and hobbies and activities. So, are we ready to get started? Sure, why not? All right, let's get into it. So, the first set of questions that we're going to ask you about are various things about school. And I think a lot of these we've probably asked in some form or another uh, through the various podcasts that we've had. Um, But, you know, it'd be nice to sort of touch base and get them all together in one little podcast here. So, um, first question right off the bat is, what is your favorite class in school? Well, um, I'd say my favorite class um, was skills, although I just had it this year. Um, And I really, I think, just took a liking to skills, although it wasn't one of the classes that stayed the entire year. It was just um, an amount of days split up between four other specials. But I really took a liking to skills, especially since it had to deal with technology and creativity. So describe what what all the skills were. Well, skills was basically coding. It, although we had talked a bit more about it in computers, we really dived deeper into it with skills. Um, skills was technically a more refined computer class, um, spe- um, specifically based on coding and also creating sprites. Okay. So um, I just really took a liking to it because it not only let m- – because I really do like coding because it takes technology and creativity and meshes them together into one really cool um, activity that I uh, so happen to enjoy. Very cool. Very cool. Good answer. I like the answer. Um, well, if I'm going to ask the favorite, what is your least favorite I have to ask as well? pretty sure most of us know this already. It would be um, my, uh, physical education or PE. And why is that? I actually have multiple reasons, not because of the whole physical activity thing. Some of the um, games or lessons we had on different games, I guess, um, they weren't that bad. It was just... Um, I hated the fact of having to be sweating afterwards 
and the fact that my ELA classroom was upstairs and on the other side of the building, I never liked that. I never liked having to, like, get changed for it. And honestly, the, my relationship with the kids there, most of the kids there, I didn't have good relationships with. And um, in my other classes, I was kind of decent with the other kids, but I just found in phys ed that um, I didn't really know, I didn't really, I didn't have good relationships with those kids. Um, half of Half of the classes were actually eighth grade and Many of the kids were very competitive, and I never liked having the competitive, having to play with the competitive kids because I'm not very competitive. I just make sure to um, just have enough credit to get by in um, phys ed. Just I never liked it for multiple reasons. So, in, in for the sake of not dwelling on the negative, even though it was a negative question, what? good things are there about gym? Give me one good thing about phys ed. Um, well, if you do end up having friends in there, it's kind of nice. I mean, I had a few friends that I knew, um, somewhere in some of my other classes, um, other friends I got along with, but, um, I guess another good thing was that whenever you, I'd have, like, good luck, because, I'm not very lucky m much with, when it comes to physical activities, but I remember specific moments to where good things happen, like when we were playing volleyball um, just before we were about to leave on one of the first days we were doing it. I had, and I was never good at hitting the ball, but when I hit it, it like was on the um, the net and it was like, it was like on the net and you didn't know where it would fall, and it ended up falling on the other team's side, and, like, the one eighth grader who was the most competitive eighth grader I've ever seen tried to go for it but couldn't get it, and it was, like, right before the um they blew the whistle. And nice. honestly, that was one of the, my proudest moments then. Nice. So we actually have a question from uh, the chat room uh, from a user in Estonia. They ask, uh, what was the greatest challenge in the long-distance schooling, meaning your remote schooling? What was your biggest challenge? Um, my biggest challenge, I'd say, was getting off schedule, I think. Um, getting off the schedule kind of didn't help at all. Um, I tried to, in the beginning, um, I tried to keep, like, a timer um um, for the classes, and I eventually got off that schedule because I realized that math took longer than it used to, and some of my subjects took less time. So as um, as time went on, I stopped having the schedule, and it was um, a little more complicated. I might have actually lost focus a few times because of it, so... I think getting off schedule was the main thing, and we, I'm pretty sure we talked about it last time. So Yeah, yeah, that whole scheduling thing was really tough. And you don't really appreciate how um, important it is when you do it every day, you know, where it really does mentally prepare you for that next class and that next class. And then, you know, when you get outside of that rhythm there, it, it throws things out of whack. So the next question that I had was which class are you learning the most in? Um, I'd say definitely math because not just, I mean, it was probably just because we were in the accelerated math and the fact that um, we were having like half of, we were basically learning like, I think half of the time we were learning the eighth grade lessons because advanced math goes really fast. Like you have one lesson, you have the homework, you turn in the homework and then you just go on to the next lesson um so i'd say math you'd learn more because we learned a bunch of we had a bunch of lessons that were based on the eighth grade skills so i'd say there is where we learned the most okay that makes sense and if you move into advanced science uh and advanced history next year you, we might have some competition for where you learn the most <laughs> yeah um so let's take Phys Ed out of the possible answers for this next question here, because I want to do academic only. What class do you think you learned the least in? Um, 
I mean, I'm not, I'm gonna say that it might have been like a special. I'd say that, mo I'd say that all of my, uh, all of the four main classes were, um, I learned a lot in, um, and I'd say, I don't know which special it would be, but I'd have to go with one of the specials saying that I learned the least in. I don't know which one I would put, um, but I wouldn't put, I know I wouldn't put computers or skills because I learned a lot there. Um, it would have to be narrowed down to either music, Spanish, or... I mean, I don't know about art because I couldn't actually go to art. I was in the middle of scales when we had to do... We went in a quarantine, so... I don't know about art. I don't know the full curriculum for that. So it would have to be either music or Spanish. Okay, good answer. Another question from the chat room. Did you get burnt out uh, easily um, working, I'm assuming the question still related to the remote learning, but working in this environment, did you get burnt out on any subjects or in, on school in general? It would just be math, I think, because math took me the most amount of time, and sometimes I didn't actually understand it because the teacher wasn't there to explain it or give a lecture on it, and I'd say I got burned out mainly in math. Like I said, it took the most amount of time, and it took over um, an hour and a, an hour and 20 minutes. So, um, it was a pretty long, it, I'm pretty sure I got burned out a lot because of it. And, um, after, after math, I would just go to an easier subject because I didn't, or just take a break because math had just burned me out so much. Okay. That makes sense. Math is hard. Yep. <laughs> Ma math was always my weak spot in school too. Um, all things considered, do you like going to school? Uh, I'd say half and half. Okay. On one hand, I took school to be like a time where I saw some of my friends that I didn't normally see on a regular basis. And I did like um, most of the subjects, especially the specials, and I always took a, um, a feeling for science. But on the other hand, sometimes I would get... There was, like, work that I didn't understand, or there were just people I didn't want to see at school, or it's just because I didn't really have, um, it was, like, in the beginning of the school year where I sat with people, but I never talked to them, and I just ate alone because I didn't have many friends until I made an actual friend at lunch, so... Um, I'd say it's half and half. I kind of liked going to school, but I also didn't like going to school, so I'd go somewhere in the middle. So do you like the current arrangement more now where you're working, you're schooling remotely, or would you rather be going into school? Um, well, I liked the scheduling in school and the fact that I had more organization, but... On the fact that I was able to actually work from home for school was kind of nice. So I guess half and half there. I'm honestly kind of indecisive about this. Okay. I can understand that. Another question from the chat room. What could have the teachers uh, have done better while remote learning? Um, I, th I think um, maybe explaining some of the lessons a little better. I remember some of my teachers, including my ELA teacher, like would read chapters from our novel to us because we had um, quizzes each week on our nov on chapters of our novel. Um, and I definitely really took into the lectures like from history and math. Um, they really helped me learn. So if they could do something like that, I don't know how they would do it, but it would be nice for them to try and do that for like remote learning but um i don't know how they do it so okay good answer uh, were you part of any clubs in school this year uh not really i remember i wanted to join clubs like art club or drama club even but i never knew how to sign up and i never really knew i just don't think i actually had the pa enough passion for it i mean i would have totally love to join a club but I don't know I just didn't know how to, it worked 
Um, so it didn't have the whole working, the whole homeschooling did not have a negative impact on any of your extracurricular activities then? No, not really. You plan on joining any clubs in the coming school year? I mean, it depends on how I feel, especially since I'm going into two extra advanced classes while still doing advanced math. I'm not so sure I'll be able to join a club, but, you know. That's, that's a lot going on, yeah. Yeah. So let me twist this around a little bit. Um, if you were made a teacher, like if you became a teacher, which subject would you want to teach? Um, I'd say science because I always knew that science was a really cool um, subject, even like when I was younger. And I really liked how um, we did the experiments and I loved the way that and I loved like the different curriculum on how it's. We were learning about nature in one point, then matter and physics. Um, and I just really liked science, and I thought being a science teacher would be something I could actually be good at. That's kind of cool. I would totally, uh, totally go with that myself. Um, we've asked this before, but, you know, not to dwell on it, but I think it's worthwhile for this discussion. Are there any bullies in your school? Um... I haven't actually seen people, like, physically bully someone. I mean, there's not been any fights that I know of. Um, I know there's, like, gossip and rumors that exist, but um, I don't know if there were actually bullies. There were just people who were just mean, I guess, like, people who would criticize. But I could never say that they were, like, full-on bullies, I guess. I mean, I understand bullying is an action, and um, there were kind, pretty rude people in my school. Um, towards you? Well, there were people who were rude towards me, but also talking to my one friend, um, she said that people, like mainly 8th graders when she was at gym, um, they would make rude comments at her, so... Um, hmm. Okay. Well, you know, there are people out there. Yeah, sadly. Uh, if you could choose who you could sit by in class, who would it be? It would have to be one of my, I guess, just as long as it was someone I could get along with and not someone who would just not do any of the work or was lazy or, I mean, I wouldn't want, I mean, I would like to sit next to my friends, but I don't know if we, I mean, I guess sitting next to my friend, we would actually be able to do the work better. But just sitting next to someone who I know is a good student and wouldn't slack off um, would be nice. Okay, that, that makes perfect sense. Um, what was your favorite part of lunch or recess? I'm guessing you don't get recess anymore. No, I only had lunch. Um, I liked lunch. Um, I guess when I met my one friend, we actually... Um, sat next to each other, and I liked talking with him, and um, it took a while for lunch to actually kind of sink in. Before I met him, I just sat with, like, a group of girls who I never actually talked to. I just ate my lunch in peace, but I did like it when I met him, and he started sitting with me, and we actually had um, pretty nice conversations, and he normally lightened my mood, so. Nice. It's always good to have a high point like that. Uh, what part of the school day do you tend to look forward to? And don't say the end of the day. <laughs> I'm not. Um, I'd say either the special or lunch. Um, okay. Lunch is a time where you can wind down and take a breather. Um, and I liked lunch, although it was honestly, I had the earliest lunch, which technically was breakfast. So on half days, mommy would just joke about packing waffles which honestly didn't sound too bad for lunch. Yeah, you had a brutally early lunch. Yeah, um, and specials because I really liked most of my specials. I never really had any problems with them, and the specials were more enjoyable, um, and they were easier to get better grades on, and they weren't like, um, and I didn't have to push so much to try and learn. I mean, we had quizzes and stuff, but um, I was... But the material was quite easy, and I actually liked it, and it was quite enjoyable for me. Okay. Got to flip the coin there and ask you, what part of the day did you dread? I'm pretty sure we all know that. And, and phys ed is a uh, valid answer here. 
Yeah, that was the time I never <laughs> liked. Like I described before, I never had good relationships with the people there, and I hated the fact that I was always sweaty at the end and had to go all the way to my ELA class. So. Well, sweat is something that they tend to encourage in phys ed, so you're not going to get away from that anytime soon. Uh, and the last question we had about school was, what do you think you want to do when you graduate high school? Oh, I guess go to college. <laughs> I honestly, I mean, if you're talking career-wise, I honestly don't know. Well, I, no, I mean, college is a, is a valid answer there if, you know, you you want to continue your education. Like a lot of people, college isn't for everybody. You know, a lot of people pick up a trade or they go to work or whatever it is. Not everybody goes to college after high school. But that's what you want to do after high school. Um, I guess. I don't know what I'd study in college, though. I'd have to kind of plan that out. I don't fully know. Yeah, we still got some time to figure that out, I guess. Yeah. All right. Well, that was all the questions I had about uh, our school. Um, we're going to take a quick break. We'll uh, then take some questions on your interests and activities. For seven years, the Second Sith Empire has been the premier community guild in the online game Star Wars The Old Republic. With hundreds of friendly and helpful active members, a weekly schedule of nightly events, annual guild meet and greets, and an active community both on the web and on Discord. The Second Sith Empire is more than your typical gaming group. We're family. Join us on the Star Forge server for nightly events such as operations, flashpoints, world boss hunts, Star Wars trivia, guild lottery, and much more. Visit us on the web today at www.thesecondsithempire.com. So interests and activities. Um, let's just jump right in. What is the first go-to activity you like to do after school? You mean after I'm done with my homework? Mm -hmm. When you're done and it's your free time, what's, what is it you like to do? Well, it wouldn't be time for me to make dinner yet, so I guess i just go on YouTube and see like um, some of the newer videos like some of my favorite YouTubers posted and then and after a few minutes I would then start on dinner. Okay. All right. Well, you make us sound like we're terrible parents having you cook dinner and everything. Hey, I actually volunteer to do that. So. Yes, you do. You're such a good daughter. Thanks. Um, what are some of your hobbies? Um, well, I'm pretty sure we all know that I like to draw. I also do creative writing. Um, I also like to create different characters, not just drawing them, but like coming up with their stories. And I do create them in a game, Gosh Life. I think I've talked about that a few times before. I play video games and, well, types of video games. And I guess I watch, I guess my hobby can be like watching a movie with mommy every night. Well, most nights. So let's focus on video games for a second. You say you play video games. What video games do you play? Um, I've been really into this one video game, um, The Sims 3. I don't have The Sims 4. I just play on The Sims 3 right now. Um, and I've really liked the game, and I have different perspectives of it. So um, do you want me to describe the game? Well, I mean, I think everyone knows what The Sims is, but what is it that you like about The Sims? Um, I like the fact that um, you can create different stories and have other perspectives and that you um with some of the extra updates there are really cool furnitures and i really like actually designing the homes now that's a thing that i've actually been doing the reason i'm creating most of the families at this point is just to build um have interior designing okay um, i i don't know why i just really like how um I like just designing homes for different families, and I just think it's a cool concept. 
See, we talked about you becoming an architect at some point, or even an interior designer. Uh, do you play, and don't chuckle at this, do you play any sports? Anything? No. Okay. Well, yeah. so much for the follow-up questions there. Uh, do you collect anything? Yes, I do. Um, one of my, um, I guess I'll just go off with my, um, recent collectibles. I like to collect, um, pops of different TV shows or characters that I, um, like. And I have an entire thing on my one desk with all my pops. I actually just got two new ones that Mommy had gotten me that I'm very thankful for and I love them. They're adorable. Um... I'm also into Legos, and I collect, like, bags of Legos whenever we used to go to conventions because... Oh, the elusive bag of Legos. <laughs> yeah, because there's, like, so many little collectibles. Like, there's basketballs, there's, like, weird jellyfish hats that are just... I don't know why. I just love the little other collectibles, not just the fact that I have, like walls and stuff, but the fact that they can actually come with little accessories, I just love that. Um, and I also am into Lost Kitties, they're just like these little cat, um, little toys that are of cats that with doing sort of daily, um, just funny cat scenarios in a way. Um, and I just really like having them and I do stories with them and I make them, and I design them as if they were my characters. Okay. Very good answer. Do you play any musical instruments? Yes. What do you play? I play the trumpet. I know how to do a few songs on the piano. Okay. Now, are you planning on continuing to play trumpet next year? Uh, it depends. Mommy says that um, since I'm taking on the advan a few advanced classes, um, give it two months to see if I can actually handle having band at the same time because she doesn't want me skipping any of the advanced classes. And I think that's a very smart move. So let's talk weekends. What do you like to do most during the weekends? Um, I really, um, honestly, I'm going to sound lazy because of this. Um, I normally just like to sit on my bed, watch videos, play games, stuff like that. But I do like it when I'm able to spend time with you guys, like how we have our talks at lunch and the fact that we just like joke around about a bunch of stuff and well and right now you can't go out and hang with your friends or anything otherwise you'd be doing that as well yeah. um what type of music do you like to listen to i don't really listen to a certain style i just listen to songs that i just think sound cool or i like the meaning of i just think of i just listen to music and i think of a character in a scenario singing that song or having the song play in the background and have like the meaning of the song be expressed through that. I'm just very imaginative at that point, and I just like listening to those kind of songs. That's interesting. Everything seems to be very uh, character and story driven with you. you. You tend to go down that path on a lot of things. Yep. It's very interesting. Um, what's your favorite song right now? I don't really have a favorite song. I just listen to a bunch of songs that I think sound cool, and when I get tired of them, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> what's the last song that you listen to today I don't know clearly it wasn't that memorable okay yeah. um, let's talk books do you like reading books um do comic books count absolutely okay then yes I like reading comic books and what style of comic books do you like to read um is it superhero stuff is it comedy stuff is it horror stuff is it you know cartoony stuff i'd say cartoony stuff most of the comics i have are either teen titan or spongebob at this point um i just like the comedy in them and just i just like the tv shows in general which is why i read the comics okay well, that makes sense so when you're bored what do you What's your go-to when you're bored to try to get past that that thing? Well, I I actually have this one notebook that I made. Well, not made. I'm writing in it. 
um, where I put down, I decide to make a character. I have their name, their gender, their type of species, because I create, I don't normally create humans. Um, I have their entire backstory written down, any families or family or friend members, and just all their general information. Okay, so it's, it's character development again. Pretty much. Now, do you then go back and, and, and take from that character um, to build stories with, with those characters? I mean, I also have this one little notebook, which I have, which I decided to make, like, diary entries with different perspectives of people with different world, in different worlds. Like, one actual story I'm making was based off of one of those diary entries. Um, I'm calling it, um, 2085, I think it was called. And it was based on this one girl who, in the diary entry, it sounded like she was, like, a normal, um, girl going in elementary school, going to buy shoes with her father. But then you realize she's going to, um, an elementary school on another planet, and that, um... And you eventually learn her entire backstory, saying how she lives with her father and her younger brother, and how she wants to travel the galaxy at one point, like her mother wanted to. Yet her father ha- yet her father conflicts with that and wants her to go into law school. So it's sort of like, it sounds like she'd be a normal character, despite the fact that she's on another planet and that she's going to an elementary school on another planet. So interesting. Yeah, it kind of has that twist to it. So, do you have a favorite actor or actress that you follow? Um, not really. I don't really go off of celebrities. I just, the only, I don't, I just really, I just watch, like, I don't really, sorry. No, I mean, if it's no, it's no. I mean, a lot like, for instance, you know, I know that Taika Waititi is, like, one of my favorite actors and one of my favorite producers. He He's one of the directors for um, The Mandalorian. But every character he plays is, I, I love the characters because of, the, of the, um, the personality that he brings to the characters that he plays. So I love watching them. Um, Denzel Washington, another one of my favorite actors. The man is just a, a consummate professional when he, when he plays whatever character he plays. Tom Hanks, same thing. Um, is there anyone like that that you see in movies that sort of stands out to you that, that, if nothing else, you just appreciate the talent that they bring to the roles that they play? I mean, I would if I watched more live-action movies, but at this point I just watch cartoon movies. A lot of so. animation, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, what is something that you personally feel very passionate about in life? Um... I guess, like, could I have an example a bit about it? Well, uh, are you passionate about the arts? Are you passionate about fighting injustice? Are you passionate about helping others or supporting a charity, something like that? Um, I'd say the arts because I definitely think that expressing yourself with many different assets like writing, drawing, or music is just really good and as although i don't actually i'm not actually a part of many clubs i do like expressing my art in many different forms okay and i kind of figured you'd sort of go down that route because uh most of what you do during the day is an expression of art in some form or another so how would you describe your perfect day um i guess my perfect day would be Waking up, going to school without any real issues, um, not, with other, not with anything with other students, being able to talk with my friends, coming home from school, um, getting my homework done pretty quick, um, having a little more time to um, spend on like hobbies and stuff, um, afterwards cooking a good meal that I know I'm going to enjoy, and... Um, having a great conversation with you and mommy. Okay. Afterwards, I don't act. Afterwards, I just... Um, Retire for some rock band? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> that sounds nice. That also, sounds it nice. would typically be a Friday. Of course, because Fridays always make it better. Yeah. 
I, I won't argue with that. So we've talked about some of your artistic talents. What other talents or skills do you do you think you have? Um. Well, I know character development, but we already know that. So. Are you a good cook? I mean. Yeah, I can make meals. I wouldn't say, like, I make gourmet meals or anything like that. I make... Uh, I'm able to make decent meals. I'm not able... I don't set the house on fire when I cook, so that's, well, that's good. a step up. Yeah. Um, you guys seem to enjoy my meals, although one of the main meals I cook is spaghetti, so... Um, you can't burn water, sweetie. Yeah, I can, can't burn <laughs> water. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'd say I'm pretty okay on the cooking. I do have a passion for baking for some reason. I just really, I remember, um, we actually made banana bread and I really liked making the banana bread and I just like mixing and getting my hands dirty in general. Okay. What about like gardening? Do you garden? Um, uh, not really. I just pick out weeds. <laughs> okay. You play rock band. Are you good at rock band? I mean, I'm good on the drums. I'm okay with singing. I just don't sing a lot. Okay. And I'm not good with the drum. And I'm not good with the guitar. Well, how about computers? You like to do your skills class with coding. Are you good with computers in general? You figure them out real easy, or, is, or are they a puzzle to you? I mean, I'd figure them out. Like, whenever someone else was having, like, a difficulty with technology, i try to help out. I definitely like um, working with technology, um, until the technology gets a little frustrating and I end up screaming at it, so. Hey, I know somebody else who does that. <laughs> you do? I never, I would never have guessed. <laughs> okay, okay, so you have other talents other than just art, is, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. Okay. Uh, do you speak any other languages other than, than English? Well, I don't speak fluent like complete fluent other languages, but I do know how to say certain words and certain sentences in Spanish since I took a Spanish class. Just the bad words? No. <laughs> no, Daddy, no. I know how to say like classroom objects, hello, goodbye, stuff like that. The touristy stuff. Yeah. Okay. I don't actually know how to say like, hey, did you know the... Hey, did you hear about this really cool video game? And then, like, describe the entire video game. I don't know how to monologue in Spanish. So, you don't know Spanish conversationally? No, I don't know how to monologue in Spanish. Right. So, you've got some of the vocabulary down. You know how some of the sentences are formed. Is it something that you'd like to learn and become fluent in? I mean, it sounds cool. It would be nice to know another language besides English because Spanish is another worldwide um, sort of... Absolutely. That, you know, when I was in school, I took French class and never had an instance of using French outside of that. And I wasn't very good at it either. Um, but in hindsight, had I, had I been able to make that choice again, I would have picked Spanish. I think Spanish is a much more marketable skill. Um, and, and you're going to find a lot more people in your day-to-day -day lives that speak Spanish than you will French. You yeah. Know, unless you move to Canada. <laughs> Um, or France, actually. Yeah. Um, so the last question that we had uh, today for for the podcast was, what is your favorite place to hang out, and what do you like about it? Um, I know this question doesn't really apply to now. Um, I never really had a place where I hung out. Um, whenever me and my friends couldn't go to one of our parents' house because they couldn't handle all of us. We would just, like, sit nearby my, um, our yard, and we'd just talk. And I guess that was one of the main places I hung out. I never actually went out on the town or anything. I just No, like, out on the town, huh? No. You're not a wild and crazy 13-year-old? No, I'm honestly kind of boring <laughs> in a way. I don't have an exciting okay. lifestyle. Okay, well, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, when I was a kid, you know, I used to hang out over my, my friend's backyard. He had a pool, so everyone sort of hung out over his house. Uh, but we would build forts in his backyard and, you know, do everything in his backyard. So that was all we had uh, for questions today. We're going to just take a quick uh, transition here. We're not going to actually go to another ad. We'll come back and we'll get your closing remarks.
go for your closing remarks. Okay, so I don't really know what to say today other than stay in school, like everyone else says. Although you can't actually stay in school, you're more remote learning in school, so work on schoolwork, I guess. Okay, well, you heard of people work on schoolwork. Look, that I don't is know a, what That is a good say. motto. I don't know what else to say, okay? <laughs> How can I say, like, something for interests and hobbies? I mean, sure, like, follow your passion and interests. Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, well, we are going to piggyback next week on this podcast with a school-related one. Oh, great. Um which is going to be probably kind of a little bit different for you. I don't think it's anything you've ever explored. Uh, but I think it's worth having a conversation about. Okay. But until then, we invite you to email us if you have any questions or comments at comments at insightsintothings.com. You can hit us on Twitter at insights underscore things. You can catch all of our videos, our high-res videos, on YouTube at youtube.com slash insightsintothings. You can catch us on Facebook at facebook.com slash insights into things podcast. Our audio versions of our podcast are available at podcast.insightsintoteens.com. You can catch us streaming six days a week on Twitch at twitch.tv slash insights into things. Or you can catch all of that information plus show notes and transcripts and all of our past shows on our website at www.insightsintothings.com. And don't forget to check out our other two podcasts, Insights and Entertainment, hosted by you and Mommy, and Insights into Tomorrow, our monthly podcast, hosted by you and my brother, Sam. No need to rush. we got plenty of time. Hmm. All right. That's it. We're done. Speed. Thank you very much. We're done for today. Bye, everyone. Another one in the books. Bye.